Hey Jesus Squad, welcome back to my episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, this cool mirror right here and basically what this is, is a hand forged butcher knife that also works as a meat cleaver as well. So if you guys can definitely use this to actually chop meat or cutting watermelon or whatever. Basically it works like a meat cleaver. So this is basically what the packaging looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open up and show you guys what the inside looks like first. So when you guys first open up, this is what it looks like inside. So you can see it actually comes with a very nice leather case that actually holds the knife inside right here, which is pretty nice. So when you take it out, you can see this is basically what the bottle looks like. So it definitely comes with a very nice little leather case that actually holds the knife inside. So if you guys want to carry this around when you guys are hunting or whatever, you can definitely use it how you guys want to. But basically have a little clip option right here. If you guys want to unclip it, just go like that. And then once you guys do that, you guys can take it out. So you see, once we take it out, this is basically what the knife looks like right here. Definitely looks like a high quality knife that is hand forged. But when you guys feel the material on here, definitely feels really high quality. And when you guys look at the handle grip right here, it definitely feels really nice. And the way how the design actually gives you guys a very good grip on here as well. And if you guys look at how sharp the knife is, it's actually really sharp. So definitely use it for like cutting stuff, chopping stuff, or maybe even slicing stuff as well. And they mentioned the material that they use on here is like a high carbon stainless steel. But this is basically what the part looks like on this side. If we flip it to the other side, this is what it looks like on this side. If you can see on top right here, they do have the logo here as well. And supposedly all these black dots that you can see right here is like a hammer design. But definitely when you guys view the blade on here, it's actually pretty thick. But this part right here, for the actual knife right here, is actually really sharp. So you definitely want to be really careful on this top right here. And also the way how to design this handle part right here, not only does it give you guys that comfort feeling on here, but it definitely have like a non-slip design on here as well. So when you guys grip this handle part here, you don't have to worry about it slipping off your hand. But definitely when you guys feel the knife right here, it actually feels like a high quality knife. And basically when you guys are not using it, or if you guys don't want to use it anymore, you guys can just slide it back into the bag. So just like this, you guys want to slip it back in. And you guys want to close it up. They definitely give you guys that protection on here, so it won't come off, which is pretty nice. And then like I mentioned, for this part right here, if you guys want to strap it onto like your belt or whatever, you can definitely do that as well. But this is basically what the part looks like on this side, and this well looks like on this side right here. And that is basically everything that's on the part right here. Let me actually go test this out to see how it works and when it actually works. And then we'll come back and talk more about product in a second. Alright, so right here with the knife, let me show you guys how sharp it is. So we use it to cut this onion that we have right here. The first thing I'm going to do is rinse it and wash it down to make sure it's clean before you guys use it. All right, let's test it out. All right, so let's see how sharp that is. It's not like the sharpest knife out there, but it definitely does work. And it works especially well if you guys want to use it for meat. So I would say that this is more ideal if you guys want to use this for like chopping stuff. But if you guys plan on using this for like slicing stuff, it's not that ideal because it's not sharp enough. Alright, so it definitely is sharp to a certain extent when you guys actually use it. But definitely more ideal for you guys to use it for like chopping meat or whatever. Alright, welcome back guys. So now that is a quick test of the product definitely see that actually does work and it works quite well. Super easy to actually use the product if it's in C. Once you guys take out the actual case or the actual bag, you can definitely use it for like chopping stuff, slicing stuff, or just use it to actually cut stuff on here as well, which is pretty nice. But definitely when you guys feel the product, it feels like a high quality product. It doesn't feel like super lightweight, so it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Not a unboxing and test on product. Not the answer question of whether or not that should work or not. So for this cleaver knife, I would definitely have to say that it is super worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality cleaver knife to use for like cutting meat. Or like I mentioned, if you guys want to like cut stuff, slice stuff, or even chop stuff, you can definitely use this knife in all that situation. So if you guys are trying to look for a high quality knife that can do everything on here, then this is definitely super worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else I should be doing. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.